let me put on my cool detector glasses. Let me see if this, let me see if you're cool. Hold on. Reading. Reading. Okay, okay. You're valid, you're valid, okay. You're pretty cool, all right. All right. Yo, what is up, team? It's you, it's Dallas Boys, and today, guys, I'm back again with another video, and it's Scripture Sunday. Every Sunday, I read Scripture, guys, from the amazing, we got it right here, y'all, right here, Word of God, and we break it down so you can have your life, y'all. And, guys, I'm back, you know, back like we never left. Um, last week, I took a little, a little break, I guess you could say, but if you didn't know, if you don't ever see, like, if you don't see the videos that I post, like, the Scripture Sundays now, just know that I do post shorts. It's every sun, uh, Sundays that you don't see videos like this. Go to the shorts on my my page or YouTube page, and you'll find a video there for the Sunday. So don't worry, y'all. Don't don't act like I didn't post anything, y'all. I'm I'm still I'm still being consistent, y'all. Don't worry, we still doing the thing for God. Anyways, y'all, back at it again. Y'all got a new desk, y'all. You may notice a little different angle. Y'all kind of see I got a nice desk. You know what I'm saying? Yes, perfect. But what we trying to do here, y'all? Trying to talk to you, you know, like it's like you're sitting across from me, you know? we uh, get having a nice little um. Uh, Sunday brunch, you know, Sunday dinner, you know, whatever else. <laughs> Sorry, just forget that I said that. Anyway, uh, anyways, y'all, Scripture Sunday, let's start with today's scripture. Second Corinthians 12, 9, it says this, and he said unto me, my grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Most gladly, therefore, will I rather glory in my infirmities, that the power of Christ may rest upon me. All right, y'all, so let's break this thing down, y'all. So this is our brother Paul, our bro Paul. If you didn't know, Paul wrote, like, a lot of the books in the New Testament. He's the GOAT, pretty much, y'all. But anyway, things happen in life that make us feel weak. Let's just be real. You know, you could be fighting through, going through something, and you just feel like, you're like, bruh, I'm tired. And you feel a little weak. You feel like you're, you can't go any further, right? But what if I told you, zoom in, zoom in, come, come closer, come closer. What if I told you? You're not actually weak. Mm, think about that. Let, let, let's talk about that. So look, this scripture literally says, God's strength is made perfect in our weakness, right? Which means whenever we feel weak, it's the perfect opportunity for God's strength to move in our life, move in your life. Whenever you feel like you're weak, whenever you feel like you keep, you can't keep go forward, that's the perfect opportunity to where God's strength can move within your life. Let's look at this. Let's look at this real quick. Paul literally says in the next verse, "When I am weak, then I am strong." And I love how I love this scripture um, because uh, of how instant Paul says it. He says, "When I am weak, then I am strong." He says it quick like that. He switches it up. He may say, "He says, well, when I'm weak, then I am strong," and it shows how instant and how fast God's strength comes into our life when we feel weak. Meaning that time you may be feeling kind of weak right now. Weak right now. Well, guess what? That right now is God's strength is moving faster than the speed of light. As soon as you feel like you can't keep going, as soon as you feel like you just feel like throwing a towel, that's where God's strength is moving. So don't so don't go feeling all bad and sorry for yourself, holding your head down and stuff. Don't do that. Get up. God's strength is right there next to you. Whenever you feel weak, whenever you feel like you can't keep going. Corey Osbury said this. He's a gospel singer, has some great music, you know, famously known for Reckless Love. Um, he says in one of his songs, what looks to me like weakness is a canvas for your strength. What looks to me like weakness is a canvas for your strength. That's God's strength. And I said that God doesn't look at you and say, oh man, they're still weak, man. No, God says, he looks at his child and he says, look what I can do through them. Look what I can do for them. Look what I can give to them through my strength. So that's exactly what God does. And that's exactly what you got to believe in your heart and in your mind. You are not weak. You're not weak. Just get, the, get that out of your vocabulary. Just, just, just spit it out. That's not, get that out of your vocabulary. You are not weak because through God, you are strong. You may feel like that, but through God, you are strong. Just say, look at yourself in the mirror and say, I am strong through God. So yeah, guys, that's going to wrap up today's Scripture Sunday. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please make sure to give this video a like. If you're new to the channel, I encourage you to subscribe down below. Turn on the bell button. Comment that you subscribe so I can give you a shout out because it means a lot, guys. Thank you so much for all the support. I see all the support you guys are giving on the videos. I appreciate it. And we continue to grow, continue to reach people. And yeah, so feel free to go check out my website. You may not have known, but I've written three books. 
If you want to go check out one of those, feel free to go check out my website, jobsbooks.com. And yeah, so without further ado, stay positive, stay happy, and remember, never give up. I'll see you next time. Peace.